Today I'm going to be scouting the game land here off of Point Drive. It's the section of the property on the south side of the road. Uh, my last video was on the north side. This piece of property is about 270 some odd acres. Um, a little bit smaller compared to the one on the north side which is about 350 acres. Um, so I'm going to get out here in the woods and um, see what we can find. So I got in uh, into the trail here and uh, started looking at the map and I saw um, these trees painted here and, uh, and marked with some tape and um, according to the map it's pointing towards the piece of property um, got cut through a little bit of a clear cut section up to the um, it, I guess it would be considered the top left portion of the property um, if you're looking at it on the map uh, and it right along the river and then cuts all the way down to the point so that's what I'm gonna do is work my way down to the point back up and then cut through to see what I can see in between okay so I, I kept walking west um, following those trail markers led me out here to this clearing here where we uh, you could see on the map that it was clear cutted uh, again until you get to know the property and the property lines just be mindful of the, the posted signs on the north end of the property uh, it's private property there we don't want anybody out here trespassing on somebody else's property um, as soon as you come into this clearing here there's this old service road that leads down according to the map it looks like it runs right through the center of the property so um, depending on where we see sign that might be a, the best bet of, to follow that down to wherever your hunt site might be Alright, so I finally got to the far western end of that clear cut and uh, got back off into the woods and come across these two small creeks that uh, come down together and it looks like the, it starts to uh, get really, really flooded down through here, through this portion. Um, I still have a little ways to go up that ridge. Alright, so I've Work my way all the way down here to the, the western edge of that property up here towards the uh, the top and uh, come out on the river. Uh, still haven't seen any sign yet, um, but I mean it's nothing but real woods and steep uh, steep hills that you've got to, to climb just to get to this point. So uh, like I say I don't even know if it's worth it because again I know pigs travel, but I haven't seen the first track or or sign of them um, down here as as of yet so I'm gonna uh, start working down the, the river side here and see what we can come up with all right so I was finally able to make it out of that um that section uh, I was cutting through it's real real hilly uh, it's steep uh, I ended up having to climb out of that hill um, or climb up that hill and I came out here to the uh, the southern tip of that clear cut right here on the river's edge so I'm gonna cut through it's starting to flatten out a little bit more um, so hopefully we can find something down through here uh, yeah, I, I all right so here's what I was hoping to, to come across uh, you can see the lands really flattening out starting to get some uh, some greenery in through here this creek uh, looks like it's flooded down towards the southern end of it, closest to the river. Um, I have seen a couple pig prints now, uh, pig tracks, but no rooting just yet. But I've got a feeling as soon as I get over there in that green stuff, that's where we're going to start seeing some stuff. Um, it's right along the edge of those pines on the edge of the clear cut, which uh, if, if what I'm thinking is right, uh, that, that'll work out good for us to be able to... Uh, take that that service road down into here and, and get into a good spot easily uh, quietly as well so let's keep on going all right so this is the uh the far end of that little marshy area that um i just pointed out and here you can see where it's flowing straight down into the the river um seeing some more tracks i hadn't seen a whole lot of good sign of rooting through this green stuff but there's some old sign uh, down in here 
which you know it's a it's not too far up into the the pines up there and you know you know pigs are a lot like deer they're not going to they don't want to venture too far away from cover so they can get you know get back in there if, if something spooks them but you know there there is some old sign here so hopefully it picks up the farther farther down the river we get all right so we're not too far down from where we just stopped and uh starting to see some some ground tour up here uh, there's it, it looks fresh i know we just had some rains and it looks pretty beat down but there's definitely some some marking of them up here all the way all the way up through here so we're gonna keep on walking and see if it gets any better All right, seeing more sun, especially right along this river. It's just kind of, I'm just zigzagging. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call this the meadow. Uh, just zigzagging through here. I'm just keep coming up on more and more sun. And it looks like it's, it's just like this all the way, all the way down this little, this little flat area here. And uh, it's all the way up to the, to the pines there as well. Take a look at what they've been doing down through here. They've really been in here heavy. They tore all the ground up. And just, just, it looks like somebody came through here with a plow. Again, it's, it appears to be pretty fresh. Um, not as fresh as we saw before, but you can't really make that out due to all the rain that we had in the last couple, last couple weeks. Yes, yeah, it's looking good down through here. Again, we're getting closer and closer to that point uh, down towards the river. I'm working my way down the, the edge of the river here on this little small portion of the point and come across this section of ground that's just absolutely wrecked. They've, uh, They've just been wasting away on um, everything that's in here. The stumps, dead trees, um, all the way down the river's edge. They've just been tearing it up. And some really good, uh, good sized tracks I've been seeing. All right, so I got back across that little creek there um, from the that small cut off portion of the point. And over here on the side of the river is a lot of the same, a lot of torn up ground. Yeah, trees here tore all up. Looks like it goes all the way up through there. So I'm gonna be working my way from that side of the river in and out of these woods back up, uh, going back north from this, this end of the point. All right, so there's some thick stuff you really gotta navigate through um, coming up along the edge of this river here. And uh, you see it's real green and it's, it's tore up here which we might as well just go ahead and assume that if it's green on the side of the river you're going to see some some heavy rooting so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start working my way up through some of these trails leading up into this thick stuff and then finding those openings in, in that thicket um, where there's some some open area see if we can't see some sign and uh possibly make a that probably make a pretty good uh hunt site right there so i'm going to try to see what i can find up in here and then we'll keep working my way up through the point All right, so this is kind of the area that I've been looking for. Um, I'm off the river. The river's a good little ways back that way. Of course, it's over there as well, but uh, I've been cutting through these pines, following these trails, and looking for just little openings like this. And when I do, I come up and, you know, you, you'll, see, you'll see where they've been. You, uh, lots of tracks and lots of rooting, and not just rooting, uh, I'm seeing a lot of droppings too. All right, so I've come up from the south end up the river. Came up that swampy area I was talking about, and I can see a little bit of sign out here. There's some uh, looks like some rooting over there on that corner there next to that stump, and across here, and the swamp goes all the way up up that way. Kind of 
cuts the property in half, I guess you'd say. Um, so I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna walk around the outside edge of the swamp, see if I can find some trails and some sign. I, mean, I see some picks, some tracks, some old tracks down in here. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can find some trails, and if I do, see where they lead me. All right, so I decided to go ahead and get some uh, video, and I'm gonna try to mark these trails. Um, this is the where the main trail coming from the parking location forks. It's a good ways back in here, but I'm gonna um, I'm gonna hit the one to the left and go all the way to the the dead end of it. Once you get going down to the left here, this is a lot. This is what the trail looks like. Uh, it's all downhill, pretty open for another, I don't know, maybe a tenth of a mile from what I remember. Then it starts to thicken up. Once you get back down in here, you're going to get to what you think is the end of the trail. I don't know if this is, water is going to be in here year round, but um, just follow it straight across, just the way it, it's flowing straight down. Um, and you sh you'll be able to pick up that trail again on the other end of this little swamp area. It'll take you plumb down into here, um, and you have to look at a couple look, look a couple spots. You have to look and find where the trail picks back up because you think it just dead ends. But it's a nice trail. And according to the map, it looks like it's going to be taking us right down to where we want to go. I, mean, I couldn't get my, couldn't get the camera up in time, but there's a big, there goes a couple of them right there. If you can see, several pigs just took off to my right here just as soon as I turned the camera off. Some big ones too, big and brown. So, <laughs> definitely in here. All right, so we're right here at the end of the, that trail that I was following, and um, it gets, it just comes down here to this, this end of the property. We're not quite to the point yet, but I've got the river over here this side, a little swampy area that leads right over to the other side of the, the river, and then you know, a lot of a uh, pig sign that I've walked up on right here at the, the end of the trail. And you can see where they've been in here. Um, I mean, not or a hundred yards maybe from where I just ran those that group of them up. But they've been all out in here. Uh, as far as you can see, there it's just it's everywhere. All right, so I, I followed that main trail um, from down there where the, it forks off to the left and the right, and um, about a half a mile up, and, and you end up back up here at this clear cut where we started the day all right so i just got back to the truck and here's what i found out about the alcoa game lands off of point drive the south section there's definitely pigs there um, i'm hoping it shows up on the video uh, uh, several of them scattered out through there um, when i was taking that left trail uh, down into that swampy area um, Mm, there's a couple in there. It's probably about 100, 150 pounds, and some smaller ones. Uh, but I saw a really big one uh, cut, take off um, to my right. But I couldn't. I, I, like I say, I didn't have the camera ready. But there are pigs in there. I saw a lot of sign. There's not as much sign as close to the road as it is on the north side property. Um, but once you get down in there, the sign that you do see, you see a lot of it. What I found is it. What I, I seem to think that if you go to that left trail off the main one, um, it takes you straight through the middle and all the way down to the um, the east side of the point, and that's where I saw I saw a lot of lot of sign. Um, and once you get about a third of the way down that trail, you get into to pig country. I mean, you start seeing um, sign of them close to the trail, and then the farther you get down there, the, it, the trails just covered up with it. Um, so I, I do think that it, this this would produce some some good pigs during turkey or deer season. 
navigating through the clear cut over there was just a waste of time. It um it did I didn't see anything but a couple deer tracks and coyote tracks. There's a lot of fallen timber that they they, they didn't pick up when they cleared it. Um, and it makes it tough to navigate over. Um, it's all dead and it's all dry, so it's loud. There's a lot of hills you've got to go up and go down. If you're out here and you're looking for your own place, I just I my advice is just get down in there and find the flat areas. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a good property. It's definitely not as good as the one on the north end, um, but there's definitely pigs in here. So um, good luck to anybody coming out here. I'm going to head to uh, the Perkins game land next and then probably up to Caswell and shoot me some comments in the comment section of where you want to see me go next. Um, any areas close to you, I'm I'll, I'll drive where I got to because um, um, I'm, I'm anxious to find out where all these pigs are moving to throughout the state on the game land. So uh, if you want to see some scouting for those lands, put the comments in the sections below and um, happy hunting.